Hi everyone and welcome to another Plan With Me video. This is Elise of Plan With Elise and today, oops, sorry, shaky hit my desk. We are planning in my classic happy planner for the week of July 18th through 24th. We are going back in the day today to Neon Lights. I know that this is a back in the day sticker book because the top does not have the uh, name of the sticker book on it, but this is one of those old loved books that I was like, I saw it and I was like, yep, I'm ready to, I'm ready to use this again. I bought it. I think it came in one of the summer mystery bundles. So sorry, I think we're still shaking. Okay. Um, the sticker colors that I want to use, cause I try to have some idea at least of what colors I'm going to use before I start a video. Let's go, go through this. Come on go faster. I like these purple and pink ones and I'm probably going to bring in some teal as well. So I think that I want to, hmm, I'm trying to decide. I was like, do I want to do a combination of like circles and boxes throughout the middle and one of those kinds of things? I feel like, I don't know if I've done that lately. Let's peek back for a second. I didn't do that at all in June and I haven't done it yet in July, which means that I can, I can do it. I mean, technically I can do it whenever, but there aren't a ton of quotes in here that are going to match the color scheme I'm using. So I also pulled out the coloring sticker book because I thought that this might work. So I grabbed the pink mild liner brush pen and the purple and let's see what I want to use. I like this Choose Kindness one. This should cover, probably going to be wider than two. Why can't I figure this out? It's going to, it actually would be nice to go all the way across the top. So I am going to fill this in. I feel like the brush pens are easy just to be able to color through. So, whoops, you just have to be careful. So I can't rush this. I'm going to speed it up and then I will continue. Okay, I'm not sure if you caught that at the end, but I used my Uniball Signo just to clean up any places that I went over the line. So look how pretty this is with those, um, with these purple and pinks. So we'll peel this up. I love the coloring sticker book and I feel like I often forget to use it. But I love how that looks. Okay, now let's... I like this sheet. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that would be enough. So I actually might do what I originally thought I would do in terms of bringing in these circles throughout the spread. The only thing that's gonna be a little bit challenging is the, um, I was gonna say the overprint because there's a little bit of white around here. I could go through and cut around each of these, but I don't want to, so I'm not going to. Um, but that would be one way to combat it if you wanted to do that. I want to move this over. I actually don't want these to be tilted because they have the lines. So let's bring this one up here. Let's do this a little bit lower. We'll do another one. right there. And then let's bring in the spray. Maybe I'm not bringing in the teal. I thought I might, but I, I might not be. So because that one was high, I went low with this one. We'll go for the light pink. The purple again. and another light pink here. Okay, 
I like that. Now, one of my favorite things about the sticker book are the bullets. So I love that these are circles because they go really nicely with those. So what I think I'm going to do is put the same color bullets. Actually, before I do that, I know that there's some cute headings in this book. I like the arrows. We also had the boxes that I could have used. We have these. I might bring these in. They are only two colors though, so mm, I might hold off. Yeah, I think we're gonna keep it simple. All right, so I wanna bring in bullets that coordinate with the same color I'm using. So I think we'll do four bullets each day, which are like little neon donuts. And then grab these purple ones. This is the time in the video where I'm like, do I just continue to proceed? So let's talk about my plans this week. So Tuesday night, I have a Patreon Zoom. I have a couple bills due. And Thursday, I have a massage. I'm looking forward to this massage because my one in June, I had to, well, I canceled because um, I was still testing positive for COVID, but I gave the massage to my stepdad who I hadn't seen. So he, he hadn't been exposed. Um, just as a Father's Day gift so he could have that massage because I have a monthly membership. Okay, the other thing now I'm trying to decide. I was thinking that I would do these bullets down here and then these ones I would put up here and then maybe another quote this way. So before I make that final decision, let's look for another quote because really I need a wide one. I mean, we have this, but it's like narrow. This at least takes up some of the height. I do like happinesses here. I mean, I love some of these, but I might do a sidebar one too. So really, I just need the one that's going to take up the most space. I probably should have moved Choose Kindness down there, but it fills in that space so nicely. I don't know. Let's see. This might be a job for undo. Or maybe not. I don't want to rip this sticker because I just worked so hard to color it in. I just don't know how undo will do with a colored sticker. Ah, we made it work. Okay. Mm, it's not great either. Is this the same width as happiness is here? It is. The other option is cutting one of these up to make it wide. All right, I think this is going back where it was originally. Sorry, sticker. Now I wanna see what happens with, could do, don't stop until you're proud. This is just gonna require a little bit of sticker surgery. So you might see the top of my head as I try to make this work, but I'm basically just going to separate these. All right, so now don't is there on its own. This is not a challenge, but it's just a matter of being somewhat precise. Whoops. Okay, don't stop. I think it's a little challenging to do on camera because I can't stick my head down as far as I would need to. My 35-year-old eyesight is not what it used to be. I'm starting to notice, and my mom noticed too recently, that I... Um, like held my phone a little bit further from my face when I was looking at it one day. All right, this is probably a situation for wax paper. So I have, oops, I have some wax paper just from my last plan with me that I haven't cleaned up yet. So let's test this out first. 
and see how it works. Oops, I ripped the star. Don't stop. I might just get rid of the stars. I think this worked, everyone. I think this worked. I like when then something works. It doesn't always work. <laughs> so this one makes me happy. Um, I am going to cut these and fix them and color them, and I'll be right back. Okay, I really love how that came out. I think that it's it's a really, I don't know, it just worked. It worked. So now I'm going to grab, again, these little bullets. And I thought that it would just be fun to do them, I don't know, on alternate levels of the page. And then we will figure out the sidebar. So let's go back to these guys. I might still need to clean up some of this using the white pen because I didn't, I didn't clean that up, but it makes me happy. The pinks aren't perfect, but they kind of go along a little bit with that one. So I don't know. It just, it's funny sometimes that, you know, I open these blank pages and we all do, right? Anyone who decorative plans or plans decoratively, you just don't know what's going to happen. Like I knew I wanted to use neon lights. I knew I wanted to use these colors, but I haven't even pulled out the original sticker or I haven't even put down the original sticker that inspired this spread. So sometimes even in the planner, it doesn't always go according to plan. All right. Now I want to go back to, let's look through this sticker book for a second because we got to do something with this sidebar here. I do have this, this happy plan sticker, but I don't know that it's going to fit anywhere right now. So that's why I want to kind of look back and see what options we have. I can maybe bring in the stars. I don't love them. Of top priority or must do can be something that we pull in. I don't know. I kind of want to leave this one. I'm thinking that this sidebar, I could bring in these boxes, but I don't necessarily want to go for boxes when everything else in this spread is round. I could use a sidebar sticker just for the sake of it and see how it works. I mean, if you saw my um, June, January to June flip through, sometimes I just don't use the sidebar, but maybe it can't hurt to put it in even though it's a long rectangle. So I'm just gonna cover up this week's list part because you can see it through when I put that sticker down. So we've got a nice long sidebar there. Let me stand up and kind of give this an overview. It's a very simple spread. It's nothing like, I don't wanna say remarkable, but I, I like it, it makes me happy. It's a pretty spread. It's just, I don't know if it's creative, but at the end of the day, it's my planner and I just wanna do what is gonna make me happy. So when I look at this, I know that it's really functional. It inspires me. It makes me happy to open it. I like the colors in it. I have bullets to help get me get things done. I have boxes to note the big things, whether it's the massage or the Patreon Zoom or plans with friends, whatever might might be. So I'm happy with it. Let me know your thoughts. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe. I just had another thought real quick before we before we go. Hang on, we're not finished yet. I wanna peel this up. It's, whoops, uh-oh, okay. It's gonna go lower. And then we have this sticker. Happy plans, happy plans, happy plans. So I wanna cover, cut off the silver. I'm like standing. I'm ready to, I'm ready to finish. That was a, do we have this? Let's see. Happy plans. 
And then I think we're just gonna cut off that too. And here's the sticker that inspired the spread. Boom, perfect, love it. Okay, thanks again, everyone. I'll see you next time.